over down to fire department. Fire activity summary and chief report. We did not have a fire commission meeting again in July. We had pancake breakfast plus a lot of fire commissioners were on vacation. But uh, hit a couple of highlights. Um, wildland season is upon us. Uh, type 3 is up and running. All the wildland packs are in service. There's actually a couple of three major fires burning around the state. We were called the other day to see if we were available. We're currently not on the out of county strike team list just because of that. One captain's still out, having replaced Joel's position. Caesar Korea just had twins. Congratulations to Caesar. Um, you know, one other guy's on vacation, so we're uh, we're taking care of Rimwood right now. We did complete the engineer's exam. <coughs> Jeff Smith was promoted on the Father's Day. He's a new engineer. He's doing a great job. Um, Electrically as well. What's that? Yeah. Well, he, Yes and no, because I won't tell you who rewired it wrong the first time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move past that. He discovered his mistake. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> interesting enough, the surf trailer came in very handy that night because I ended up giving one of the generators out to a resident whose mother was on home oxygen oh. and her oxygen stopped working. And then we used the other generator here to get some lights going. Mm. So we fixed that problem. Chuck, were you here? Sean was here that night. Yeah. Yeah, we may do it. We problem solved it. It wasn't <coughs> ideal, but we got through it. Um, finished up a couple of vegetation management projects. Um, I did hire David Purcell as a temporary firefighter. He starts medic school in a couple of weeks. I'll be able to keep him on as a temporary even while he's in medic school, um, just with how his scheduling works. So that's definitely helpful as we make our way through summer. Um, that's about it. Can you comment on uh, Captain Heine's status? Only to say that Captain Heine is still off on his workers' comp injury, rehabilitating to return to work. It sounds I, like it's going longer than yeah. Yes. Um, his 48.50 time expires September 9th of this year. So I think we'll have some resolve either way shortly thereafter. I think Steve is still a little conflicted. Um, much like Joel was, you know, you spent 30 years in a place and you like it there, and it's wildland season and you want to come back, but then you also have physical limitations and getting old and, you know, what, what's at risk if I do come back? So he's sorting through all that stuff personally. Um, you know, I'd love to have him back, but I don't know if it's going to work out. Time will tell. How do you feel the captains are acclimating themselves to being first-line captains? I think they're actually doing pretty good. Um, we did go through a little bit of a new shift bid, shift bids on July 1st, so the shifts have been moved around a little bit. Um, we have a couple of new captains. We have a new engineer. You know, Sean Day is an acting engineer, still fairly new at the department, but um, I like having new guys around. They're very energetic and youthful. They like to get out there and work with the public, so. Um, you know, all in all, knock on wood, uh, when the guys show up to work, they're doing a good job and they're in good spirits, so I commend them for that. Uh, you know, the staffing levels, guys are having to put in extra hours, we're still dealing with the kitchen, trying to figure out what to, do, what to deal with that, but uh, it never once has impacted attitude or effort level at the firehouse, so. Experience, decision making, and that kind of thing? Yes, and they're both smart enough to know what they don't know, mm -hmm. and there's older, you know, more tenured guys around coming over on captains on engine six or engine seven. I'm around, not that I know a whole lot more than them. The Seraphim Battalion Chief is always available to us. The Nevada Battalion Chief is always available to us. So, yeah, they're doing a good job in my opinion. Very good. That leads us to the kitchen remodel. Yes. Um, so there was a bit of a change in SB 854. I don't know if Eric touched on that anywhere. The threshold went from what was a thousand is up to twenty-five thousand dollars now. And can you not go through this whole process if you can get it for under twenty-five grand? I can tell you, as I did just receive a bid from John Pope Construction, who uh, Irv turned me on to. Very nice individual. We talked at length. I gave him a copy of the plans that the architect did, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, we'll work with you. Yeah, we'll make it work." He's got a son as a fireman in Southern Marin, and I got his bid today, and it was for one hundred and two thousand dollars. So I didn't bring it here to show you today. <laughs> it's still on my desk. What, what happened to it's the first bid? Well, to the first bid. The, to the first bid. So. Not that we could. Yeah, well, I've called and emailed Christine. 
Christina from that bid, and there was, they didn't leave, they didn't walk away from here on the best of terms for whatever reason. They were kind of conflicted with what they were hearing from a lot of different people. I'm reaching out to see if it's still an option. Um, I was going to go through the Marin Builders Exchange to start trying to get a couple of additional bids. Um, the problem is if these bids are coming back at uh, over $25,000, I'm just going to have to put out the RFP and we're going to have to do a sealed bid process. And I'm, I'm getting that done next month because we're, we're four months plus now without a kitchen there. And we gotta, we got to finish this. I'd love to be able to spend $25,000 and get it done. We can almost do it ourselves. Well, that's an option. Um, the whole cabinets from Home Depot, we order the appliances. I'm trying to figure out a way to keep costs down, do some of the work ourselves just through purchasing, and then hire a guy to come in and install it all. That's, uh, I'm hoping that's where we can take this. Um, please, you know, laugh at this if, if you choose to, but um, I, I hear many people utilize Craigslist for jobs, mm -hmm. and maybe we're looking at a company that will laugh at us for this about for the scale of the project because they normally do so much bigger projects. Maybe just finding a lower level. Well, I'm looking at lower level contractors now for this, yeah. like a guy that would come into your home to maybe do a yeah, 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 yeah. Not necessarily handyman. I'd like to get a licensed general contractor in, no, yeah, but I don't need a DIR registered contractor yeah, that builds right, airports. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, this is, and posted on Craigslist, what, what do we have to yeah. lose at this mm -hmm. point? I mean, uh, yes, obviously we require insurance, we require uh, right. licensing, bonding, yes. etc. But you know, we don't need to have the DIR service. I actually had placed a lot of faith in John Pope, so I was a little disappointed today when that email came through. Um, but I put that in round file and I'm on to the next thing. But, you know, I really would like to get this done. We may not be able to do it for $25,000. I can't promise you that here today. But I, I don't really think if we do it, you know, in-house, by appliances ourselves, we, we can. I, I'm, I'm looking at it, but I can tell you is I haven't seen that yet since Christine left and even then. I mean, we were bare bones in it, so. So we can pretty much take this off the agenda. Yeah, no, there's nothing to approve here tonight. I it's in my garbage can. Question. Yes. Is, is there anything in the plans that can be cut? Is anything? Yes. Is this real bare bones? No, there's a cup. I, I went through John Pope's bid today and compared it to the plans that he used. And I think with some tweaking of the plans, just with John Pope, it was about a $20,000 savings. So I think we need to revisit the plans a little bit and simplify it. Can you give us an example of what you think is you can jettison from the plan? I mean, what, what type of things are you talking uh, about? They were including some things like lighting and flooring, which are not flooring, flooring, obviously. Flooring yeah, I know, but he had $10,000 in for flooring. Oh. He's got, he had $5,000 in for painting the kitchen. I mean. <laughs> I'll paint the kitchen for three thousand. We'll call it even. <laughs> so I think it's time for a barn raising party. <laughs> I really do. I, pro I still my promise is holding true. Is there will be a solid working kitchen in there before I'm gone. But between Craigslist and between utilizing our guys, uh, I really don't see a reason why we can't do it under twenty-five. I don't. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, if you cost it out yourself. Cabinets, sink, plumbing, appliances. I costed out cabinets and countertops through Home Depot. Uh huh. And and it was about uh, twenty nine thousand. Really? And that was for like granite countertops, which are not high end, and like a mid level a mid level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for a mid level uh, cabinetry. Well, I mean, Ikea. Just well, if, just a cabinet is a countertop. Are that magnitude? There's no way you're going to beat that $25,000 ceiling. Yeah. This makes sense. My kitchen cost 30 grand, no, 15 grand, sorry, not 30, 15. And that was a year ago. I'm still working. Good condition. Yeah, I, I mean, um, 
I don't know if you guys read anything I send you, but one of the things I sent you, you just go. We actually yes. do read. Okay, so so one of the things I sent you was ten by ten kitchen, pure oak, and then there was another one that was cherry. It's from China. You have to build it like IKEA, but it was like two grand. I mean, I can tell you that a two thousand dollar cabinetry in the firehouse would last three weeks. <laughs> it's the same cabinetry. No, it's not. Stephen. There's also a place in Oakland that you can get pre-made cabinets from China. I, I know this because I've, I've, I've costed this out. People know about the, these things. I mean, you can go to Home Depot and they will have a designer and they will give you a price. And if you just shop a little harder, I, I think you can get what you need. I, I, I want you to have a kitchen, uh, Chief. I want, I want the guys to have a kitchen. I want them to have a good kitchen, a kitchen that lasts. And I don't think you should put cheap stuff in there. I think you should put solid stuff in there that's going to last. But I don't think the, there's necessarily a guarantee by going through uh, some of these contractors or even Home Depot that you're going to get um, a quality, any greater quality cabinet that you would if you sourced it a little harder. If you want, I can I'd be happy to uh, give you those sources. I don't have them off the tip of my, my tongue tonight. Okay. I guess the next we're gonna have the fire. Yeah, there'll be a fire first meeting the first week of uh, August. Um, August first. I will not be able to attend as the board liaison. So if anybody else would like to jump in at this opportunity. Thank you. I'll reach out to you guys to see the middle. Emergency generator is checked every Saturday morning, as I remember we used to do that about 20 years ago. So that's standard. What apparently isn't standard is to energize the emergency system from that generator and see if that works. And I'm just suggesting that possibly that be included in maybe a monthly, monthly. check or something. But I think it's a routine process. I had the same thought. Right? Now, you said there was, the problem was a plug. Is that? Generator hardwired into a system, or no. we plug it in. We, we have to plug it in. Do you still have the switch yep. that doesn't let any power go out yes. into the neighborhood of yes. that generator? Okay. <laughs> Remember how it was when you were here? Yeah, you know, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just a new generator. We're a little dated. <laughs> exactly. Remember the old Boy Scout generator in the back? Yeah. We've upgraded slightly. Okay. <laughs> 